we don't we don't just like your book we can say what we want that's right that's right so how you been How's that i'm been? good wait let awesome. me put on my he headphones you don't have to put them on if we just we're just trying to look professional <laughs> if you want to no i want to look professional oh okay all right yeah, there you go wait i love how you can see it's, it's a little delay yeah a little it's bit like, a little it's delay. about a 30 second delay oh okay gotcha <clears throat> Oh, really that's not annoying at all. What's up? <laughs> yes, what's up? The GoPro's not on me. It is. It, yeah. Well, is it? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Yeah. I mean, if I go like this. this. No, you don't don't this. move. Actually, come closer to Don. Yeah, that's what we might. Come oh, God. It's delayed. All right. Nice. So we're going to see each other. We're going to be together. In a oh, God. I hate looking at myself because I look like my entire family. <laughs> you know, like my dead parents and my siblings. You want me to put a cartoon on there or something? Uh, yeah, please. All right, I can do it. <laughs> Cartoon. Okay. <laughs> I'll put on I can't. Commentary. How do you watch this shit? Like, it's so <laughs> off-putting. Yeah, sometimes I just... <laughs> All right, I, there I, we go. I did five seconds ago. I could always just look up there. Wait, so here's can... my book. Yes, the book. Tell everybody about the book here. Yeah, hand, hand it to Don <laughs> so he could put it in, in <clears throat> view right, of the GoPro. Here. Uh, uh, here you go. Yeah, Tony. And this is, yes, yeah, okay. I can say it. No. Yes, I can say that. Yes, I can say that. When they come for the comedians, we're all in trouble. That's true. Now, here we are in this this uh, you know time period where yes. comedians get in trouble left and right. Some are getting <clears throat> smacked. And and uh, what do you? I think that like you, the, to your point, when they start coming for the comedians, we are that's in trouble it. Because you're the truth tellers. Well, right. we're the truth tellers who just want to make you laugh. Right. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Like we're telling the truth, and you're laughing at it because it's true. So when you want to shut up, and we, okay. So, I mean, there's so much history with comedy. I'm sorry I have a hall thing in my mouth because I have a really bad cold. <laughs> COVID, no, I don't have it. I just, <laughs> I, ha I got my test result today. But. That's okay. If I'm going to get um, it, I wouldn't mind getting it from you. Just, oh, oh, that would be cool. Nice. You should have got sick That is from like Judy the gold. nicest thing anyone said <laughs> to me. He's so that nice. Cool. Yeah. Oh, He's the nicest you. guy. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Look, he just blushed. <laughs> uh, I think you have a fever. All right. It's happening already. Wow. Um, she works fast. So, um, you know, you go back in history. In the early 30s, 1930s, that is, uh, it was, you know, you I, everyone knows the movie Cabaret or the play Cabaret. It was the, it was the cabaret acts and the comedians who were talking about what was going on in Germany. And then in 1934, Hitler passed the Treachery Act, which meant you could not make fun of him, the Third Reich, right. the uniform, yep. anything. That's how powerful comedy is. Right. He, um, he was like Netflix. I mean, not Netflix. He was like Twitter. He was like Twitter. Okay. I'm going to do the jokes, <laughs> and you're going to get sick. Okay? <laughs> okay. Goes, and then... <laughs> and, um... You know, and, and you realize that we're the only country. I, I always think about how we're the only country. What other country, when their military is embedded overseas, sends comedians over there to make them feel better? Right. Yeah. You That's know, it's so point. uniquely American because of our First Amendment. And, you know, people, it's a release. It's a buildup of tension. But what's happening now is that. We're taking intent and context and nuance, especially on Twitter. There's no nuance. Right, yeah. you know, it's like having a, t a tweet fight with your partner or something. Right, you know, right, it's yeah, like, yeah. I mean, a text fight. It's like, I can't fucking believe you said that. It's like, no, I was just, I was actually being serious. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, pile on. Yeah. yeah. So I was just talking about it with one of the comics that I say this at every interview. Like when you, if you murder someone, when you. All right. If you murder someone and you go on trial for homicide, right. your sentence is determined by your intent. What you were thinking, you know, there's different degrees, um, was it premeditate, whatever. And yet a comedian doesn't get the same respect or, or consideration. It's like, however you took it is the only way. No, that's not how I meant it. This is what I was intending to say. Yeah, but I heard this. That's on you. Right. Move on with your fucking life. You don't like a joke. Don't laugh. It was never it was never news back in the day. It was just like it never made a news the news. Judy Gold said this night. Cuz nobody mean, cared, nobody got offended. If they didn't like it, they just didn't they, laugh right. and they laughed at the next one. Right. And that was it. 
Right. And right. It's supposed the to be like intention is to make people laugh. There was right. no bad intention. That's always right. the right. intention. Right. right. The intention That's is always make the audience And like, laugh. look, I watch I mean, I'm in clubs all my life for the past 40 years I've been yeah. in comedy clubs. There are comics who I hate what they're talking about or, you know, <laughs> I think it's an easy fucking laugh or they're lazy or whatever. But I don't ever say you should never be able to get on stage again. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I, it's like, okay, that's who you are. That's what you want to do. The bottom line is they got the laugh. And like, right. right. And, and sometimes I want, I don't know, you probably are the same way, but you you will hear an audience laugh at a joke that you don't think is funny, but you know where the joke is. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah sure. You, 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 right. If you don't know where the joke is, that's an issue t- for me. Like, uh, and your point is, you know what I mean? And that was the whole thing. Like, even back with with Larry Flint and, and that whole case was, you have the right to to have bad taste. So you have the right to ha- to tell off color jokes or bad jokes. Right. Because if people, it's up to the audience at that point whether they want to go to your shows right. or be your, your fan. It's called a sense of humor, right? right? Yeah, it's exactly. a sense. Right. Exactly. Like you like salty food or you don't like salty food. You like sarcasm, you don't like sarcasm. You like like physical comedy where people are, you know, tripping on banana peels or you don't, right. you know? Right, right. And, and it's like, if you, for, I used an example in my book. Yes, I can say that. Like, I had a friend who went to a... I forgot what concert. It was one of her favorite bands. And the Monkees. Oh, don't you... I love the Monkees. <laughs> and so he just died. died. Yeah, he we just s- died. We saw them, like, a couple There's of months before left. he died. No! no, no. It, was just, it was just six weeks before he died we yeah. saw them, yeah. And I, he I looked don't know okay? What, no. Oh. No, you knew something was going right. on, yeah. Was well, at least he was performing was up until the end. sitting down a lot. All yeah, right, right. Well, right. sorry, I didn't. I was just being stupid. I do I love the monkey. But, like, but speaking of music, like like people can write this song, and you can sit in the audience, and you could hear the song, and you could think it's like written for you, or you don't know anything about it, or like it touches you in a certain way that it doesn't touch someone else. And comedy should be the same thing. You shouldn't. No one. Right. No and one if, goes after the songwriter. Right. No one goes. Um, like if I mean, what or something. I <laughs> think about it like my friend went to a concert. To see one of her favorite, I, don't know, I think it was Jackson. I don't even know who the hell it was. But she gets there and it's all new. It's an, a new album, song right. she had not heard. And she was like, ugh. You know, <laughs> I wanted to hear all my favorites. Right. And But she didn't say he should never be able to perform again. <laughs> because right. he wrote new songs right. that I didn't want to hear. You know what I mean? Or I don't like. Whatever. And you, what happens when you're in the car, the radio, you're like, oh, I don't like this song. You switch it. Yes, change like, the station. It's that simple. But and do you think? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say it's it's so easy nowadays to just write people <laughs> off, cancel them, throw them under the fire, you know, and uh, and silence them. Well, but, it's because of social media. Yeah. But do you think it's do you think it's it's since COVID, since the pandemic, do you think it's just as bad, or has it gotten any better or worse since? Because I it seems no, to me like it's, it seems to me like it's gotten a little better. Like people aren't. I think some people may have just decided that I'm not worrying about stupid shit like that anymore. I don't right. care what I they think, say. Yeah, well, I look think, at the Dave Chappelle thing that happened during the COVID. Well, true, yes, true. Some people are exhausted with it all, but well, I, it started yeah. before COVID. Well, that's I think what I'm saying. That, yeah. yeah, I think um, people are like, some people are realizing the value of laughter and right. not taking yourself so fucking yes. seriously. Yes. And that it's not about them. Mm-hmm. I mean, COVID in a way was like the perfect storm because it was like, Everyone was thinking the same thing. So you're a comic and you're like, it, you're, it's your take on the, you know, I had so many COVID jokes. Um, and, and it was great because everyone's like in the same boat. We all went through it together. Right. right. Um, and I remember during that period of time, people were like, can you do COVID jokes? Yeah. What else? I'm, I'm going to ignore it. Like, <laughs> right. it doesn't fucking happen. I'm on a comic What else are we talking that? about? I'm doing a fucking Zoom show, you fucking idiots. You know? <laughs> It's all we're thinking about, right? Yeah. So, like, we're not going to forget, like, right? Like, I've, could, but I've heard that advice. I've heard, you know, people saying, "Well, don't do that because we're already living through it." I'm like, but it's all we're thinking right, about, right? But then, and now, that's the whole idea of the like, comic is your your job is to make really crappy things better for everyone else, like, right? Sorry, and acknowledge it that it is, you know, you have to. So, like, yeah. let's say in 20 years, some 20 year old 
is going to be like, you can't talk about COVID. It was a terrible time. It's like, <laughs> you weren't there, that's asshole. How, that's, right. that's, that's, that's what, what he would happen. sound like, too, right. by the way. You were right. born because your parents had nothing to do right. but get yeah, knocked up exactly. <laughs> during right. COVID. You know, like, can't you, no, I really don't want you to talk about COVID. <laughs> I'm waiting for the sequel now to come out. Oh, God, like, I need, I need like to write. Like I need to ago. sell more, and then I have to write. A, it's just like like the fucking slap. It's like. <laughs> was slap. it fun writing? Slap. Like, like how? It like, was really why, hard. Is it just because you're in COVID and you're like, you know what? I got to write no, this stuff down. No, it, it didn't. It came out in COVID. So it was the year before COVID that uh, I wrote it. Okay. It came out in July. So I didn't have a book tour. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but no, here was the thing now. about it. It was that it's a, it's an argument. It's a polemic. It's really an argument. Mm. So like I wanted to make sure each point I was making what you know, I was seeing all sides of the point. So there's like all different chapters about, you know, there's a chap oh, there's lipstick on this. There's a chapter about, you know, stereotypes. There's, you know, and when and you can't there there's a chapter, you know, there's a reason it's called an act. Perfect example right, of that. Right. Bill Cosby. It's an act, right? You fucking yeah. idiots. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, uh, what else? You, you know? Let's see. Uh, sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> lighten the fuck up. You know. And you're a great writer. I read some of your stuff on CNN. That you know, oh yeah, stuff. I write for CNN.com. Right. Like the the Big Bird article always sticks oh, out in my head. I, I thought yeah. that was wonderful. And so you're a great <laughs> writer. So is is it? So I'm, I'm I, I can't wait to read it. I think it's going to be great. It's uh, your and the audio book is people oh. love it. That was in the Did New York Times. Did you do the uh, the <clears throat> voice? For yes, that? of course. That, well, a lot of people and don't because how? So what was that like? Was it crazy it to just sit there great, and read your own book? It's it's so interesting that you write it and then you say it aloud. But the thing that was weird is because each argument I have, my um, my my the things that prove my my argument is great stand up you know right, is, right. and so is material and i use that to make my point so i am saying other people's jokes so i try to kind of get their cadence and character uh when i but you know it's great comedy you know right. you talk about the white house correspondence dinner which now is going to be canceled because of covid did you hear that oh, oh really yeah because they all got it, right? all got it at yeah. the gridiron yeah. but yeah. um that the fact that Donald fuckface, I hate his fucking guts. <laughs> Orange fuck. Like, here's a person with no sense of humor, has no self awareness. The fact that he wanted SNL investigated, you know, <laughs> that's the power. Of, well, you when know, he tweeted about Meryl Streep. Oh, that. Oh, kind of, yeah. yeah just it's saying, just like, just and funny. there's so many, you know, right wing comics who are like, come on, he's funny. He's not funny. He's like evil. Like when it's evil, <laughs> it's not funny. Right. Like I, I always think about like whenever you see a video of like two assholes, like like Putin and Trump, say sitting at a dinner table or like an event, <laughs> and the one whispers in the other's ear, and then they're like, <laughs> you know, it's some. <laughs> Horrible. They're like, hatching an evil plan. I can't wait to rape that fucking person and then hang them on a, you know. <laughs> what do you think about, like, right wing comics when it comes to their freedom of speech? Every, I think everyone should be able to say, I, we have a First Amendment. Right. right. Yeah. And yep. I think it, if you shut the other side down, then you're giving the power. I learned this from the uh, old head of the ACLU. If you shut the other side down, then who decides? Th the dean of a college. Yeah, right. Then yeah, that person right. is like, you know, like if you have a right wing fucking, a I mean, unless they're harmful and they're like, like right. here's where I can. If it's hate, then if I it if it's lie, like that's the thing. Lies are protected, like conspiracy theories, and that's like lizard people, <laughs> right? <laughs> like these stuff. pedophiles in the basement of a pizza place, oh, you yeah. know. <laughs> QAnon. I mean, all that stuff. It, you know, there's no just so I think that's where it gets. But they have every right to say it, like like, like the Joe Rogan thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. But remember um, to keep my wife's name out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can have her pussy in your mouth, but you can't have you can't have her name her in name in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> I, I really yeah. So I I feel like it has to be everyone. But then when it comes to comedy, again, you can joke about anything as long as it's a good joke. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You right. have to craft a joke. You could talk about anything. Now, Look at Gilbert. Yeah, exactly. Gilbert's I mean, He's the, the fucking greatest, funniest. He's the greatest of doing that kind of stuff, you know. And uh, Yeah, I, I interviewed him for the... But, like, this is what we see now. Like, 
because you know laughter is involuntary, right? Oh yeah. Right, and now yeah. audiences are like, <laughs> oh right, not supposed <laughs> yeah, to laugh. Exactly. Like when people are offended by proxy, I want to fucking oh you're offended like yeah, I that has nothing right. 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 Oh right, because that's mean to blah blah. It's like right. shut the fuck up. Right. Do you? Funny is funny, right? You said it's involuntary. You should right. be able to uh, agree hundred percent. But do you personally have a, a line? Are there topics you won't? Touch? No, the, my line is the only mm. line I have, and we really don't know where the line is until you cross it. Well, right, true, yeah. Is if they're laughing for the wrong reason, right, right. And if I can tell they're not laughing for the right reason, like right, you know, because right, right. I I'm a woman, I'm a Jew, I'm a lesbian. Like there's times where I'm like, no, you're not getting the point, and then I'm like, I'll move on. To right, like, like, <laughs> like you people are you're stupid. fucking stupid, but I'll tell them that too. <laughs> like those are people I think Archie That's Bunker a thing. is. Like, yeah, <laughs> they, they but Archie Bunker other. would never get on network television oh, now. No, no way. Now, but but the idea, you know, was that Archie was a parody. Of, right, a, a but they don't society. understand parody right, right, that's or right, satire. Right. These people right. don't get it. Yep. Don and, Rickles would never make oh it today. Oh my god! Oh, and you know, if you left a Don Rickles show without being you know, singled out. It was like you got cheated. Yeah, right. You know, right. I was like, oh, fuck, can you say something nasty about me? You right. know? Right, Never, never. Now, in the polarizing times we're in now, the left and right and all this stuff going on and, and free speech and all, do, do you, does it affect your relationship with comics like Nick DiPaolo's or somebody like that? Oh, I that? love Nick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's uh, the polar opposite. Of- he's, I know, but he's gone to another level. <laughs> <laughs> um, but and, and I always loved Nick, and I think he's funny. But now he's like, I'm like, what, really? You know? But you yeah. can have he's a good so angry. With yes, him. I'll talk to him. Yeah, yeah. We never had. I didn't. No, I never had that with comics. Do you that's good. with yeah. a guy like the Apollo? Do you do you just say, well, that's just his act, or do you guys like behind the scenes? Do you guys actually go at each other? I can't believe you said that, or you're wrong about this. Like, do you guys actually uh, have those are, debates? We are. Um, Miserable. Well, yeah. But <laughs> that's why Tough Crowd was so great. Oh, Tough Crowd uh, um, was, was a phenomenal show. I was, uh, yeah, yeah, but we, just because you're polar argue. opposites of someone doesn't... Like, I, like 10 years ago, you could sit in a room with everyone who disagreed with you, and you just had a great time. And, right. then, and then one day... <laughs> one but now day it's like gotten... Right, but... God, Even Facebook, like like Tony grew up next to you, um, like his best friend grew up next to him his whole life. And the like a, a few months ago on his Facebook, he called him like ugly or something, and he and he got a oh, warning. Yeah, fa- yeah Facebook. I, as soon like, as I hit enter, boom, there it was. On oh the my screen. god! If you can't call I, your best friend ugly, I it, he, I play. Um, a character on Better Things, which is a show oh, on FX. Yeah, we love that, that show. show. Oh, okay, we so, sit there and we'll, I would uh, love that show. That. So I, pl- you know, for season four and see, I actually wrote on this season. But did you really? Yeah. So so Rebecca Metz, who is an actor. Yep. Um, I play. Uh, we are girlfriends now on on the show, and mm-hmm. uh, she she was showing a picture of her when she was like twelve years old, and I and I facebook or something or instagram oh my god you're a baby dyke you know <laughs> yeah because that's what that, we call right, yeah. you know that's what lesbians call right. young lesbians you got reprimanded. and she's not even a lesbian she's married to a guy <laughs> but we're in lesbians on the show right, right. these this is against and so right. that, yeah. that but yet you can say some bullshit lie right uh, you know about that actually harms people right. that actually like that's the thing about politicians is that their words actually harm people and affect people's <laughs> lives, you know? Right. They yes. pass laws that are anti whatever. Um, and yet comedians who are just literally trying to make you laugh. That's it. Yep. True indeed. And we get canceled and they get reelected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is a weird. Right. It is weird. But they're canceling the wrong people. Right. But that's why we love the Ukraine because they did it right. They voted in the comedic right. actor. Right. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, he was a comedian. But <laughs> there's a reason he's such a good leader. And oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 True, yep. True. Right. Wow. Cuz there's no dumb comic. <clears throat> like you can't I well, mean, that's interesting. I don't no think comic. most comics are not dumb. If you no, know where a joke is. No, and it's so to difficult to do. And to spin it. Yeah, to you you got to spin it. You got to think of a different take on something, you know? We yeah. had uh, Kevin Pollack on here. And, uh, oh, I and love him. And he was him. so, he was yeah. like, he was like, you people watch better things? He was like so <laughs> yeah. excited. Like, he's great on I it. I love him, yeah. He was so great. Did you watch this season yet? No, I'm actually waiting because I like to power watch things. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I don't know why you'd think that you wouldn't want to do that, but I love yeah. 
to like just watch it and just yeah. To binge. Yeah. 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 Such a great show. Yeah. Pamela's fucking amazing. She's too. like I just I loved her before she started this. Yeah. So when she when I found out that she was gonna yeah. be doing this show, I'm like, this is gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's very talented. Yeah. You were great on uh, you with like on Mark Marin or something where you played you uh, I forget what show it was, but you played like a really good part um at a dinner. And you were like mean him was it him or Louis C. K. That's what it was. Oh on Louis, Louis C. K. show, yeah. yeah that, that was you so were so fun. good on that. Oh man, I remember like watching and going, Man, she's like really good actress. Oh, like, you, you nailed it. Like, thanks a lot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so convincing. You were so mad at him. Oh yeah, he goes, You're as mad I forgot what he said. You're madder than it like he really He's like, I want you to be so fucking mad. Like, <laughs> you were great. Yeah, it was fun. He's a good director. Wow. So, so <laughs> when was the last time you've been here at, uh, on Long Island and the governor? Oh, my God, years. Yeah, because well, you're in New Jersey said, originally, right? Yeah, but I live in Manhattan, so don't oh, fucking oh, bring up New Jersey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. kidding. I don't care. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't scared. care. Thanks no, a lot, Tony. I, I grew up in New Jersey, and then I moved to New York when <clears throat> I was 21. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. And you were doing... And I'm 50 fucking nine. You came in at the tail end of the <laughs> 80s boom or in the, in the 90s? No, I was in the You 80s. don't look 59. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, like no, a, I started in the 80s, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I started, I did my first set when I was 19. And then um, the I did... Oh, my God. <laughs> and then Isn't I that amazing? Like, I have jeans 19 years old. You know, like... <laughs> right. Just to, like, go up on exactly. the stage and do that at 19 years old. I just I know, think it's right? so... I just Brave. loved it. Someone dared me to do it, and then that was it. I was oh, addicted. Wow. Yeah, and all I love it. Styles. Oh God! <laughs> Please do not mention my fucking spit curl. We were just <laughs> talking about it last curl. night. Yeah. It was here, yeah, and I would do Judy that bit show. about like how if, the reason I have my spit curls because if I had my own show in the '60s, I'd slide down a spit curl uh, on my own variety <laughs> yeah, show yeah. I'd come I'd open the show sliding down a big spit girl singing it's Judy show and yes. then I just said it after every fucking joke because yes. I was yeah <laughs> that, <laughs> I love that people still come up to me and they're like it's Judy show and I'm like oh my god and I used to get a tan line right here right where the curl was it was so <laughs> stupid hilarious <laughs> Because I wanted to be recognized, so I'd go to the beach and have the thing, and then you know, once I went in the water, That's it was hilarious. over. Yeah. Well, I'm, if it makes you feel any better, I'm looking for it, and I can't find oh, it. Oh, you'll so. find it. Oh, it's 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 great. That was was uh, that one of your first um, appearances on TV? Was when? You oh, did I that did show? find it. Oh God. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there she is. <laughs> see, like we show all the hairstyle. You should uh, put that. Yeah. On. I'll, well, I'll, let I'll... me say, I hate you so much. <laughs> I fucking see. hate you. <laughs> Yep. Awesome. Wow. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so have you ran into any problems yourself as far as freedom of speech on stage? Oh, like, yeah. You've gotten some backlash and, and what happened? Oh, please. I write about it <laughs> in the book. But like just, just last week, I was asked to do a variety show in Chicago. Wait, let me read this contract. To do you. they? Oh, I was just going to say, are you going to bring up a contract? Like, do they tell you uh, ahead of time? What, this is what Because that's got. awful. Um, okay, ready? Judy, don't be you. Thanks, sign here. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Um, I mean, in the beginning, um, when, you know, when you have to take the work, I like, I understand when they're like, can you be clean? We have a lot, you know. Right. Sure, like if you curse. go to dry bar right. and you like, um, don't walk up there with a bottle of wine. You right. Know, you get stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. But. And you're getting paid a lot of money. But wait, i got to read this to you. Because some of the stuff, like, it's probably insulting that they bring up. Because, like, okay. of course I've done this before. I know that. But Don't hire me. If, right. You know, here it is. Okay. Where's the fucking contract? Here it is. <laughs> Ready? First of all, they, they spelled my name Judy Gould. G-O-U-L-D. <laughs> is is, and this is how bad my agent is. He's like, all right, they made a mistake. Okay, Ready? <laughs> <laughs> here's here's entertainer's responsibility. Um, the entertainer shall refrain from using foul language or any such morally unacceptable act or display. Oh, man. Wow. The entertainer shall adhere to the decorum of the event. Okay, so that was a fucking huge red flag. <laughs> um, and then, wait, what else? Um, like ethically, you can't, ethical and moral, No. E e funny or not funny? Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I get, so That's really what it I sounds s- like. You're either going to be funny or not funny. Right. Yeah. So then I said no, and then <clears throat> here's what they said. Um, they, they said something like, uh, I, uh, "We're very disappointed." Thank you. In uh, you. <laughs> yes. We while we understand that Ms. Gold is a stand-up comedian and liberal, we ask that she deliver her routine material with sensitivity regarding people of Black and Brown descent, as our audience will be diverse. <laughs> well, it's well known how racist you are. Well, I she, mean, <laughs> she actually ha- you actually have your 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 black card here. You got it from um, Chris Rock. He said Judy Gold is the best yeah, black I love woman Chris. comedian in the world. Oh yeah, no, exactly. kidding! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice! It's, wow! <laughs> and he said he's a student of her comedy and a follower of her teachings. Wow! It's a joke. Wow. It's a joke. No, I think he meant it. <laughs> I think he meant and it. And if he but didn't mean it, I'm gonna get Will Smith. I Cruz. love him. <laughs> I mean, it's, and they want to, but I mean, I hear moral and ethical. I'm like, don't hire me. Right. Like, don't hire anyone who yeah, can do that. that. And yeah. I bet the governor's contract was just from James, Judy, be you. I bet uh, you that was a whole contract. <laughs> sign here, Judy, sign right there. Just be you. Go there, do your what, thing. We love you, Judy. What joke would there be? Like, there's nothing I, I don't left. even do, and uh, first of all, I curse. I'm from New Jersey. It's like part of the fucking deal, okay? <laughs> yeah. Comes That's the it. Yeah. I, you know, and cursing, what does that do? My kids cur- Oh, I gotta go. Five right. minutes? Um, okay. Wait, I gotta go. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> no, I gotta have some tea before I go wait, on. Yeah, let's go. just take a quick one from the... And I, I'm shocked. People are still doing variety shows. Rock, no, they're like this. this so that was a red flag in itself. And then I was, but you don't moral and ethical that. Yeah, there's such a fine line. And with it's that, also who says well, who is yeah what, you know. who what goes up that there. Mean? Like what a, who, I don't care what <clears throat> color someone is. Right. No. Right. Not right. at all. You are Where can they find the book? You know, because I know oh, you, you, you can go sport. to my website, judygold.com. But okay. it's anywhere. It's on Amazon. It's Good. on Good uh, any indie book if you're a big Leslie and you want to, you know. I'm, I am a big Leslie. Yeah. You, and I also like I love I've, women. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw I saw you at the um, Click Club the other night. Really <laughs> <laughs> <He's pretty laughs> click Club. Alone. Alone in the back. I was. I couldn't get anybody yeah, to go to Click Club. <laughs> Where's the next Click Club meeting I'd like to attend? That used to be a Lesbian bar. <laughs> really? Yes, the wow. Click Club. There's only 15 lesbian bars left in click? America. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. What? What? That can't that, be no. true. There's, what? There's only 15 well, lesbian what, bars what left. What happens there? Wow. They they don't let men in? Is no, it a, I think that, yeah, they but, let men But I mean, you know, why they catered they? to women, yeah. Because that can't... That 15? Is, first of all, women... 14 of them are in New York. Gay bars, you know, yeah. there's a similar... You know, like now everyone can go... And also, um, women don't make as much money as men. So right. I think a lot of women business owners, you know, whatever. All yeah, right, I, I think go. they right. stop. Right, have a great oh, my God, I can have talk a great to you se- forever. Oh, yeah. we would love that. Thanks for your time. Don't be a stranger. Come on back. Yeah, we had a great time not. with you. Thank I'll you. Absolutely. You again. Have a great set. I'll email you again. Maybe we could get you on I'm my com- show. I'm coming out after the show to buy a book. That's yeah, what I'm doing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> JudyGold.com, Very everybody. Nice. Check her out. Get the book. It's awesome. She right. rocks. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, my hair looks like shit. All right, no, bye. Like you look great. Oh, please. You're so full of that. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Awesome. Wow. That was great. Judy Gold, everybody. Yeah, it's usually She's nice. Great. Nice lady. Yeah. Awesome.